Now, let us start electrical machines. Basically, as we discussed previously, it is going to be concise uh, course of electrical machines because gate is about to come. Okay, so at this point of time, we cannot waste time in going each and every detail. Okay, but whatever is important, definitely we are going to discuss whatever is probable, like you know, in coming into gate exam, upcoming gate exam, definitely we are going to discuss that. Okay, now let us start electrical machines. Basically, why we have to analyze machine, why machine should be analyzed. Okay, but we are having three types of machines one is transformer and another is motor and another is generator okay so these three things has to be analyzed now basically why we have to analyze machine in any machine my terminal performance characteristics should be known okay what are meant by terminal response characteristics so terminal response characteristics can be voltage regulation of a generator and speed regulation of a motor maybe external characteristics of a motor like torque speed characteristics or maybe efficiency now let us consider maybe a small part efficiency okay so in a transformer how to find efficiency if you see okay so for example if i directly connect a load to the transformer input is electrical and output is also electrical okay so in transformer if i directly connect the load okay this watt meter will record the output power this watt meter will record the input power so output watt meter power watt meter divided by input watt meter reading will give you the efficiency okay under that conditions why should i know about what is meant by copper loss what is meant by steel loss what is meant by d current loss and what is meant by linear what is meant by non-linear all these things why should i know directly w2 by w1 is efficiency okay for example if i connect a voltmeter here voltmeter here for example if i disconnect this and if i connect a voltmeter and if i take the reading of voltmeter and then again let me connect the load again let me take the voltmeter reading then this voltmeter reading minus this voltmeter reading divided by rated voltage is nothing but voltage regulation so in order to find voltage regulation i need not know what is happening inside the transformer directly i can calculate voltage regulation okay and in case of for example in case of motor in motor what is input electrical what is output mechanical and you know how to calculate mechanical form of power what is the equation s1 minus s2 okay into 2 pi r n by 60 into 9.81 will give you the output power now let us take the motor and for that motor and the shaft directly connect the brake drum and for the brake drum let me connect the belts and tighten the bolts or tighten the belt such that output power can be measured okay now in a motor output power can be measured mechanically and input power can be measured by connecting watt meters here okay so output power divided by input power i can calculate efficiency similarly the same thing can happen in generator also in generator i can connect watt meters here okay and i can calculate mechanical form of power here such that output power divided by input power you can calculate efficiency now point is why we have to learn machine like given in textbooks okay basically if i directly calculate this way these particular methods is called as a direct loading test okay so in direct loading what we are about to do directly load will be connected so the moment directly load is connected directly you can calculate all the performance characteristics but with direct loading there are two disadvantages what are those output power have to be wasted okay output power has to be wasted in the name of friction okay so similarly in case of generator also output power has to be wasted okay so basically if it is a small machine like dc machine okay so small capacity of machine we will be able to what do you say pay that much amount in the name of output power losses okay so but for a large capacity machine for example ac machine ac machine capacity will be mvs and megawatts now if you want to do direct loading test of ac machine output power will be wasted okay so that much huge amount of output power we may not be in a position to spend that is one reason and second thing is if you observe closely for example let me think of here this is one mva transformer okay so for this one mva transformer means load should be able to absorb one mva means that my load should be designed okay so for example in your city 
let me think of in your complete city means if you assume one power transformer is there okay so that power transformer one power transformer in your city is supplying whole loads of the city now for example in that particular transformer if you want to go ahead with the direct loading okay so complete city loads has to be emulated in the laboratory is it possible no so there are two difficulties with direct loading okay so means like you know first thing is output power should be wasted and second thing is means load should be designed in such a way that load should be able to absorb the rated capacity of the machine so because of these two disadvantages we don't go for direct loading okay so now what we have to do means indirectly directly we don't take the machine at all okay so practical machine will be there that practical machine will be understood okay and that will be modeled mathematically on paper on paper such that that particular paper analysis should be measured with the practice okay so in order to find out the performance characteristics of a machine okay without directly loading the machine in an indirect way we have to analyze the machine so in an indirect way means that eddy current losses will come hysteresis losses will come linearity non-linearity will come maybe winding resistances will come mechanical losses will come so machine should be understood properly because our target is in an indirect way we are here to estimate the performance characteristics so the purpose of machine analysis is very simple in indirect way to find out the performance analysis we are about to start electrical machines